because then it's um, it's not like a case of I have the most time to put into this game, so therefore I am better. Yeah. Yeah. But that that yeah. But that being said, uh, the game is going to go through changes as we've recently found out in a new update that your eco rating, which is sort of like your level, which before only really determines what equipment you could have, is going to actually have effect on your stats, so... Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's gonna scale your... It's gonna scale your damage and stats accordingly, so your HP goes up, your stats go up, your dodge goes up, everything goes up. Um, the amount of damage you deal uh, will go up eventually to a maximum percentage. I think it's 30% extra damage once you reach the highest tier. I don't know. I'll have to double check that, guys. Uh, it could be higher. Or it could be unlimited. You just don't know. I mean, because the the cap, the the eagle cap was increased as well. I, I think it's what what is it like 1800 now, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think it'll be unlimited. Mm, well, I, mean, I don't yeah. think it'll be unlimited. You never know. No, what I mean is like it, like this is a multiplayer game with uh, actual PvP. So I, I it it, it is. No, well maybe not. No. It's it's not. It's nice to see that it's not going to literally overpower people. It's not going to make them like a hundred percent better. But yeah. So there is still going to be an element of skill. Absolutely. Which is good because, to be honest, like I know a few friends who play the game who want to be like look at the game and like they tried it and they're like I don't like that. You know I could play this game for hours and I'm not going to be that much stronger. But My, yeah. I don't know some like that, some don't like that. Yeah. I think it's take it or leave it. It's. It Everyone's is. Got their own taste. Yeah, I mean, uh, one thing for certain is if you do start playing this game, guys, is uh, please don't panic because you will find a whole heap of issues. Um, it's not like typical um, MMOs because um, grinding doesn't help that much. Um, you have to kill stuff, yes, but if you if you ha if you grind for hours and hours and hours, you're not actually going to do a whole lot. And this is what I found out by playing the game is it's all about skill. Um, I'm probably not being the most skillful right now by just shooting random crap at random enemies. Um, you know, enemies have weak points. They will show you their weak points at certain points. You have to learn w what enemies uh, have what weak points, when to fire, when not to fire, maybe what damage types to use, maybe what they're weak yep. against. Yeah, so. You also have to learn uh, the tips and tricks to get them to expose themselves. That's right, yeah, because there are certain things you can do as a player, yeah, but, like but, throwing yeah. a grenade, maybe exposing a weak point, there you go, you've got them, and you can shoot them and kill them. Much easier. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I could be wrong, but uh, Michael's played this more than I have, I yeah. just started playing oh, it recently. And, uh, and before... <laughs> yep. And they've added quite a few nice little things to this game. Um, over the time that you were aware of, like uh, originally, there was arc falls, which were the things where uh, big chunks of metal would come out from space, and people would have to go over there, either fight off waves of enemies or um, eventually break the crystals. That's it. And then uh, harvest their loot. Yep. Or they would have a major one, which involved several little ones all over the place. And uh, then would reveal a final boss, which was pretty big. And but they've added a few new ones, including um, the horde mode I mentioned earlier, including which have the new zombie enemies that were added. They have the Volge, which are the toughest enemies. They're like literally sort of like space turtles. I like to think of them like that. They're freaking huge, and they have l very powerful weapons and armor. They do. They're powerful. Yeah. And um, and the incursion mode that which we're playing at the moment. This is brand new as well. Oh shit! We've also added DLC arenas, new weapon types, and just generally a bunch of other stuff as well as story missions. So yeah, and as I said, this game ties in with the show of the same name. So wow. events from the show will cross over. Yeah. Like um, the zombies we said. Okay. The the plague that causes them actually visited the show for a bit. But by then, we, in the game, had developed a cure by protecting these synthesizers. So they managed to stop it before the zombies started showing. Mm-hmm. One so thing... So it's uh, nice to see all the little things. Another, another thing people will notice is during this battle, it's and very hectic, isn't it? 
Oh yeah, it's yes. Like, every, players just going around everywhere. It's just crazy. <laughs> Losing all the shit various happening. weapon types. By the way, there is a small amount of lag between me and you, so the, the, I'll have to edit that. <laughs> or maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just leave it in for like oh posterity. <laughs> I don't know, offensive C's not always a bad thing. No, that's true. Yeah. Who's shooting at me? Is that you? Where are yeah. you? Though I'm not exactly too fond of showing everyone me crashing the car, but yeah. Boom! <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, you've done worse, come on. You've done worse than that. Yeah. Besides, yeah, I, yeah. I have I have a driver's license and you don't, so yeah. I think it would be more worrying if I was crashing the car. <laughs> yeah. uh, I think the DVLA yeah, would. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I think the DVLA, DVLA would have something to say about that. Like, how did you get your license? You know. <laughs> In the future, there are no licenses. There, there is only, only hell. Yes, there are only car crashes. I like it. <laughs> but yeah. Amazing. Ooh, a shield. Hurricane Reloader 3DX. Yeah. Thank you. I'll have that. Whee! Oh, yeah. Oh, one thing I'll recommend that if anyone does get quite into this game, you might want to look into getting the season pass. Because this game, as I said, it's going along with the show. Yeah, so but as long as the show is going, yeah, the game, game continues. Will go but and don't, to be supported. but do not buy things without first knowing what you're buying, guys. You really want to play the game for at least a good, maybe ten hours, twenty hours, few days. You know, get to the, get to know how it works, get to know your favorite bits. Maybe, yeah. maybe, uh, you know, the the season pass, I mean, I've looked at it, it looks absolutely wonderful, but I'm not going to buy it, simply because you can play the full game pretty much for free anyway. Um, pretty much, anyway. Uh, there's yeah, a, there's a few differences. It's, but all it's really doing is adding, is adding a few new things, like new, you, you, you could get access to those new weapon types. That's true. The arenas, which are a really good way to test your skill out. That's true. Those things are a challenge and a half. Mm. And what else did, are they adding? They added the ability to call down arc falls. That's right. Don't see an arc fall up in your neighborhood? Call one down yourself, and well, you'll get some awesome new loot out of that. It is. Well, fight an amazingly powerful boss. Now, calling down arc falls is actually limited to these things here, which are minor arc fall sites, impact windows. You have to find one of them and then activate it. Um, it doesn't just, you can't call one down from just anywhere. So, uh, don't let Michael fool you there. Um, but still, you do get to call them down whenever you want, so long yeah. as there's an impact window. Oh, uh, yeah, you, you can't exactly call one down on the quest giver. <laughs> Oh, that would be awesome. <laughs> that would be pretty cool, though. Hey, That'd be funny. Zone. Major arc ball. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Uh... And one thing that's um, also interesting to note for viewers out yeah. there is that enemies do not scale to your level. You could be level 1 million and they would still be just as hard or just as easy. They do not scale to your level. Do they? Yeah, it's a bit odd, but again. Like occasionally, I have come across enemies that are you would generally think are weak, but they're but they're not. They actually do um, they do uh, pose a challenge. Yeah. But I with the upcoming update, I think yeah, that is going to change a bit. Huh. And you know what? It may be for the better, but maybe for the worse. True. Because while you know there will always be hard, easy enemies. There will also be really hard ones, as yeah. any RPG player will tell you. Ooh, I got a, a nice and weapon. That's it, and ooh, hey, ooh I, I got a... myself a, a seventh legion grenade launcher. Very nice. Uh, got myself a purple shield. Yep. <laughs> Woo! So yeah, this is one of the things. Oh, very that... nice. Can you uh, equip it? Yes. Uh, <laughs> this is one of the things that happens after you finish certain um, quests and many, many, many things out there in the game, is you will get loot, epic loot, um, which everyone loves. Everyone loves epic loot. Who doesn't like epic loot? Come on, everyone does. So um, mm -hmm. it, it allows you to get some new weapons, test some new modifications, because you can modify your weapons to do whatever you want. Do more damage. Maybe you want to, to see extra long distances, so you can add a scope to see really, really long distances and add accuracy to your weapons. Um, you can add radiation and fire effects. 
um, all sorts of different things. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's so much potential. And regarding the... Oh, I just threw a grenade by accident. I've been playing Rift too much. I pressed G for the gear. <laughs> Um, one of the other things you can do is also customize your appearance. Now, at the very beginning of the game, you have to start off with a certain, um, oh, Michael, what would you call it? A certain sort of, uh, like, predetermined character? Je ne sais quoi. Je, je ne sais pas, je ne sais pas. Um, Callum's oh. been teaching me French. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's sort of like I'm an infantry, um, I'm an infantry veteran, which means my outfit looks like this. Um, and by unlocking different bits and pieces, you can wear different costumes. That's the E-Rep, which is the Earth Reputation Force or something. I don't know. They protect the Earth. Um, that's one of the characters from the show, Erissa. And this is another character oh, from so the show, Nolan. So, uh, if you don't watch the show, um, it can give you some awesome information. You know, just, just putting that out there. <laughs> There's Michael. Yep. Bang, 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 yeah. bang, 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 bang. Oh, there is a major arc fall down there. Care to care to go after it, James? I, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Let's let's go, old chap. Um, car. Uh, I'm, I'll fast travel to the top-notch toolworks. It's right next to it. Oh, I don't have that on my map. Okay. Oh my oh, um, god. Oh, one thing I will, I do recommend the show. Even if you don't play the game, I recommend the show. The show isn't actually that bad, and it's got a second season coming out. Well, I was in here. And one thing uh, I will just say about the game mm, and the mm, show, mm. they work the best when they're both on at the same time. Trust me on this. Like, when the episodes were out, new episode, watch it, awesome. Then you go play the game, and something from that episode is in the game, and that is. And that was just really cool. Was that not a one-off? And they update the content for the game a lot quicker when this thing... Well, that was season one. Season two is coming out, so they are going to be adding new shit. Okay. So, and also, this second season is apparently a lot darker. So, um, let's we'll see what that actually entails in the game sense. That made me smile. Say darker but again. But it's still a pretty good game. And... Darker. Yes. <laughs> Brilliant. I could talk, I could do some other voices. Oh, I've Vigia. crashed. Oh my Vigia. god. <laughs> <Vigia>. <laughs> I like it. Oh, Napa. <sighs> Vegeta A39. And your arc falls, Vegeta. Oh my god. And your whale. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> but I like my whale. All Michael. Right. Michael. You should be here helping me fight All off right, this fall. Come down here when you can. We got hellbugs. I'm coming. Okay, so that is a no, basic major, and got major arc fall. that is a basic and brief introduction Ooh. to um, Defiance, guys. I certainly hope that you enjoyed this. Uh, give it a like and a, a subscribe and a comment. Let us know what you guys think because recently I've I've noticed on the channel that we have more subscribers and we have a whole heap of views. So and that's absolutely wonderful and it keeps going up, which is even better. Um, yeah, so people coming to see me. That's right. Yeah. We we are, uh, we're definitely hitting an audience out there with our content, and I certainly uh, really want to hear some feedback yeah. so we can get some information as to what you guys want. But maybe you just want us to continue being our old random and awesome selves. There you go. Happy days. We'll continue, nevertheless. Yep. And let us know if you want more Michael impressions, because I have a, a lot of them. Okay, let's uh, let's all vote oh, on yeah. that one. Um, let's let's have a vote in the comments yeah. as to who you want Michael to do a voice of next. And if you guys want, we are always willing to play more Defiance and Payday. Uh, Payday, definitely. We are willing yeah. to play games for you. Of course, because we've got nothing else to do. Oh, and that we rhymes. Hope we're getting a few <laughs> guests on to join us. I hope so. Yeah, I really hope so. Greg hasn't been on yet, has he? Yeah. Not really. We need to get Greg on. No, no, no. It's we have to find games he can play. Oh, yeah. He's got different tastes from us. Although That's the Defiance problem. is on sale while we're on the time of recording this. Defiance is on sale for about four quid, oh. and that I might include the DLC, James, if you want to have a look at that. Uh, I might have a look at it. Not gonna guarantee might anything. Get the season pass cheap. Uh, yeah. Well. But, uh, mm. Yeah. Yep. 
pretty cool. Oh, look a weapon. What is it? Yeah. Oh, I can't get it. Mm. Well, you already have spent a few, uh, few bucks in the in-game store, haven't you? Who? Me? Yeah. No, I haven't bought anything from the in-game store. I'm not that stupid. Not yet, at least. I'm gonna well, wait until I'm like a higher level. Bought, well, you said you bought something. No, the in-game store using script, man. Okay. Script, the currency, the script. Oh, it's wasted. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, it's wasted. Bobby. He doesn't even know what script is, and he plays the game. Ah, oh, disgraceful. What? I'll be quiet, you. <laughs> well, I introduced you to this game. I know more about this game than you do. Yeah. I watch the show. I'm sure you do. <laughs> in -game do you currency. watch the show, James? No. No. <laughs> Maybe yeah. I shouldn't say that out loud. Hey, what's wrong with not watching the show? There'll be lots of people who might play the game and not watch the show, or vice versa, play the uh, play the show and watch the game. Didn't come out quite right. Hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'd say that's a good place to end, for sure. <laughs> on okay. that, on that bombshell. We are your toasters who are chiseled. On that chiseled, toastered bombshell, we have to go and kill some more shit. So I'm gonna kill myself because it's fun, and uh, I'm sure you guys will enjoy that. Oh dear, this is painful, Michael. This is really, really painful. Oh dear. Okay. Oh no, I'm. This is. Oh no, they're not shooting me. I'm standing in front. Come on. Oh. Oh well. <laughs>